Jim DeVolano is currently the senior vice president of the Detroit Red Wings and the vice president of the Detroit Tigers. Along with that, he is also currently part owner of the Saginaw Spirit, and he is also 81 years old which is even more crazier when you consider that he's been involved with professional hockey since the 1960s and has been a part of 15 championship winning teams across two different sports. But he started out as a high school dropout. So how does a guy who didn't even graduate high school end up having one of the most successful careers that we have ever seen in sports? Well, after dropping out of high school because he failed in ninth grade algebra, he found work for 80 cents an hour while coaching and playing hockey in Toronto. He also worked as a claims adjuster for the Canadian government, but eventually he did find work with the St. Louis Blues as a scout without any guaranteed payment from them. So it was kind of like a, a volunteer type position. He was then hired by the expansion New York Islanders as a scout and this time it was a full-time paid position. During his time with the Islanders, he helped build three Stanley Cup winning teams. During that time, he was also general manager of the Indianapolis Checkers, who won a championship in 1982. But then in the summer of 82, Devilano would be hired as the general manager of the Detroit Red Wings. This is probably the part of Devilano's career that most of you know. During the 80s, the Red Wings were in the middle of their worst era ever in franchise history, gaining the nickname Dead Wings because of how terrible they were at the time. This combined with the city of Detroit having its own personal downfall meant Devilano was walking into a pretty bad situation. But he was optimistic that he could win a Stanley Cup with the Red Wings in 10 to 15 years. He believed that he could do this through building in the draft, the same way he did with the Islanders. Devilano also played a major role down the road in hiring Scotty Bowman, which was a huge acquisition for the Detroit Red Wings. He also brought in the Russian Five during a time where Russian players were seen as soft and unwilling to adapt to the Canadian style of play. Got trouble here, but what is this? Hockey night in Canada or hockey night in Russia? All I hear, how great these guys are, hey, how there they were, Detroit, the fabulous five. Now I'm hearing how great they are tonight. Can't intimidate them, can't scare them. How about the time when Van Itt ran over the guy and they walked off the ice? How about the time Clark broke the guy's ankle? They never won a game after. How about that? He won four Stanley Cups with the Detroit Red Wings and played one of the biggest roles in building that legendary Red Wings dynasty. During this time, he also won a slew of championships with multiple minor league teams. But his brilliance didn't just stop at hockey. He was hired as senior vice president of the Detroit Tigers in 2001 to provide advice with the Tigers business and marketing. During that time, the Tigers won two American League championships and had one of the best pitching rotations in baseball during the 2014 season. In 2006, he was inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2010. He also won the Lester Patrick Award in 2009 for his contributions to hockey in the United States. Something he also did in that year was be named to the board of directors for the Indianapolis Indians, and to this day is still a minority owner in the franchise. So just to kind of recap, Jim Devilano went from a high school dropout to one of the best executives in all of sports. I mean, how many 81 year olds do you know that work two jobs and are part owners of two sports franchises? Not to say that Jim Devilano built all these championship winning teams on his own. Obviously, constructing a team takes many different guys coming together to achieve a common goal. But Devilano seems to always hire the right guys to help him build these successful teams. He wasn't afraid to take risks, but he also knew when to be patient. I mean, just listen to how he talks about hockey. Said we're taking them in the third round. Third round, you can get some North American players. It's not the fourth round, it's the third round. If you've ever watched the Russian Five documentary, seen any of his interviews, or read any of the books that he's wrote or has been quoted in, he exudes hockey knowledge. 
the way he speaks on the game is just like someone who has lived the sport for many years. When you've seen the game evolve and change like it has since the 60s, that kind of just happens. I mean, that's, that's a lot of hockey to be around for. Just to put it into perspective, in 1960, the NHL only had six teams. And Devilano has seen every single NHL expansion team created since then. That's kind of wild. And also during his time in the NHL, he's won a lot of Stanley Cups, obviously. But throughout all that hockey and all that time seeing the sport, he still talks like a passionate fan. Because that's what he started out as. Just a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs who didn't even work in professional hockey. Jim Devilano will most likely never retire, and will probably work in pro sports until he dies. Personally, that's something that I aspire to be able to do. To love the game that much and be able to stick around for so long is something that very few people have the privilege of experiencing. Some of the most revered dynasties in NHL history were built by Devilano. He has left his mark on hockey and it can never be erased. And that's just kind of the stuff that happens when you win 15 championships across two sports. You're connected to so many different things within multiple different leagues. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's cool to have all those connections and probably make a good amount of money doing it and get to have all those different experiences. But I'm sure if you ask Devilano, he would tell you the best part of all of it was that he gets to wake up every day and think about hockey as his job. As many wise men have said, when you get a job doing something you love, you never work a day in your life. And that's something that Jim Devilano can probably agree with. But Jim Devilano has managed to become a very successful executive in the world of sports without a high school diploma and without a college degree that I can find. Maybe he went back and got his GED or... Uh, somehow got his degree or something like that but as far as i can find he never completed high school and never got a college degree not saying that high school is pointless not saying that college is pointless i'm just saying that it's pretty impressive that he was able to do something like that and have such a long career in sports anyways i'm limitless polls i'll see you guys next time hey, hey. Ha <laughs> <laughs>